Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Um, I wanted to start off this video by saying I was wrong about NBA 2K25. I truly was. Nah, you're not gonna get me to mess up my percentage. Mike Wayne! Tell me, Mike. How am I seven and eight, Mike? If they don't get you this game, they'll get you next game. <laughs> you, you said if they don't give me this game, they're gonna give me next game. Yeah. Nah, yeah, man, the, the rhythm is back, baby. Coming up. The rhythm is back, baby. I, be, I, be, <laughs> I believe in the rhythm, bro. <laughs> I'm not sure how they did it. Um, there's been a lot of uh, information coming out from um, places like NBA 2K Lab and other sources about the shooting in NBA 2K25. Now, if you guys remember in the beginning of the, I guess, new season. Um, once Mike Wing had hit that couch for 2K uh, TV, I had made a video about two features that nobody would really use in 2K. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I was wrong about rhythm shooting. Um, for whatever reason, that is the biggest thing that everyone uses right now. That is the most talked about new feature in the game that everybody takes advantage of. And we obviously know now about, you know, why everyone's using it, why everyone's trying it, um, what it takes to actually get used to it. And today we're going to be talking about that um, as far as looking at it from my scope, my lens. Um, I still don't like it. I still can't stand it. Um, the fact that there is something within 2K that's keeping you under a certain percentage or missing a certain amount of shots or changing the green window, um, you know, a bunch of different times to negate Zens or, you know, any, any cheaters out there, it kind of, it takes away from my experience because I see myself at a certain level in this game. Um, as far as I guess being good at it or in knowing what I'm playing you know, opposed to just a randomized generator um, at given times, um, that kind of, you know, ticks me off a little bit. But what I can say is there has been things that I've done to change that narrative and my gaming experience. Rhythm shooting is one of them, but actually not listening to others about certain jump shots and actually going in and labbing more jump shots with more stability um has actually helped my game immensely um and again we're going to talk about that in today's video but i just wanted to get those hot topics out um we're going to go over a couple clips we're going to go over um some gameplay clips we're going to go over uh things that people are saying in the community as well as the uh the biggest elephant in the room and that is all of the uh, analytical data that has been coming back about rhythm shooting and why you should try it now, what I want to say to everyone that's watching this video before you even hop into this shit. I am not telling you to only rhythm shoot. What I'm telling you is if you find yourself, let's say, for instance, you make your first two threes and then for whatever reason, you miss the next three wide the open. Go ahead, go for a layup, go for a dunk. Or go for a mid-range shot. If you can't get one of those three things done within the next, I guess, a minute and a half of the, the game, go for a rhythm shot. Why do I want you to go for a rhythm shot? Because it will get you back into rhythm. First of all, I know it's it's weird to say that. But if you make that rhythm shot for the remainder of the game, if you're going to be wide open because you just shot four or I'm sorry, five wide open threes and you only made two of them. And when you take that next rhythm shot and you make it, just take wide open rhythm shots for the rest of the game. It's that simple. It's that simple. Just do that. But let's go ahead and hop into the analytical data first. I'm really a better shooter than you right now. You know what I'm saying? I really like that. I can shoot from here for real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right, okay, all right. No, 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 no. Next time, next time, next time, next time. Cause he hating. Hey Chad, I need that oh. motherfucking clip too, chat. I need every clip in this bitch. 
I need all of it. Give it to me now. I completely understand. You are trying to be from the newer era of NBA 2K where slightly earlies and slightly lates don't go in. You're trying to keep that high risk reward. You're trying to keep that green or die patch on your chest. I completely understand. If you want to be one of those players that just absolutely don't give a hell and you just want to go slightly early, slightly late with the normal risk or low risk, by all means, you can do that. But for my people out there that want to stay on high risk, the reason that you're going to need rhythm shooting is because your green window is going to be like a 70% boost to your green window when you're on high risk if you're using rhythm shooting. Now, if you look at this graph here, Obviously, there are not a lot of nerds out there when it comes to NBA 2K, but for all of my nerds out there, all of the people that really want to look under the hood of the video game, obviously, you can see the milliseconds at the bottom, and obviously, you see what your green window is from 640 to 690. Now, of course, that may change as far as your make percentage, depending on what base, what uppers you have, but generally, when you know your shot cue from square, the shot cue is exactly the same when using rhythm shooting. It's just when you get to that push point where you're about to push the ball, that's when you want to use the down, hold it, wait for it. Once you get to that cue position, use the up to rhythm shoot it and you'll green it basically almost every time. I'm just I'm just putting that out there. I know I know a lot of people are gonna be mad. I know a lot of people can't understand why. 2K would do this, why they would put not only rhythm shooting on the same stick that you would do dribble moves, but why is rhythm shooting having a bigger green window than just the regular square? I know, I know. But Mike told us that it would be a bigger make percentage anyway in the beginning of the god darn game, he told us. But I mean, what are we going to do? Now, obviously, this is another uh, screenshot showing you the shot time and profile uh, test. Obviously, you can see that if you go medium risk, which is normal, you can see that the green window is a lot more stretched out. Like you can green more on many different difficulties, but the make percentage is different. Now, obviously, when on normal risk, if you do go slightly earlier, you do go slightly late, you do have a chance at making that shot. I seen a person make two slightly lates back to back on me in a wreck. I seen it. I seen it happen. It, it, it just happens. But again, when using rhythm shooting, it's literally like a hundred percent make time every single time you use it. If you do it the right way, it's it's a hundred percent. And the, the window is so big that, you know, you're just, you're going to make it. I'm sorry. You, you, ju you just are. Now, this is another screenshot that we need to talk about for a moment. When you are using rhythm shooting, I know that a lot of people love having the fastest jump shots in the game so that people can't contest you, but let me be devil's advocate for a moment. If you shoot on normal speed, normal, not slow, not fast, not very quick, whatever. If you use normal with a jump shot that has a cue around the push area, you're going to green it almost every time. I'm, I know the data says that, I, I, I mean, uh, that's all that I can say. The data says that, but again, if you do do this, you will green almost every time, especially because the shot timing, like looking at the cue, it's not hard when it's on normal. It may feel slower, but what I will say is always shoot it as in if there's no one contesting you. I don't care if there's people closing out on you. I don't care if there's a person shooting in your face. I don't care about none of that. Always shoot your rhythm shot as in if there's no one there. Always look at the cue. The cue may change depending on who's in front of you or who's jumping at you. But if you look at the cue, the only time that the jump shot ever changes is by the landing. So if you can always look at the cue and make sure that you hit it, you hit tights, you hit light pressures, you hit very tights. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm keeping it all the way honest. I'm just keeping it all the way honest. That's, that's where we are with NBA 2K25 right now in rhythm shooting. Okay. Before we get into the next clip, I just wanted to tell you guys something that we'll go over a little bit later. Once I show you all of my animations and things of that nature, I wanted to get this out the way. When you are a rhythm shooter, most of the time you are a spot up shooter for all my guards out there, the people that got to move on to go and stuff like that. 
I completely understand. It's hard as hell to not only pull off dribble moves, get away from your defender, quick stop, and then have to rhythm shoot out of the quick stop. I completely understand how hard that is. But for everyone else, everybody who is a spot up shooter, um, whether you're on the hash, whether you're in the corner, whether you, you know, you're dexing, no, no matter what, as long as you're somebody who is not controlling the ball at the time of about to get into your shot, I would recommend, I would recommend that you turn your right stick to shots only. Now I was watching a 2K Toots the other day and his video had showcased the same exact thing that I was thinking in my mind about the shooting delay when it comes to rhythm shooting, because that's one of the biggest reasons why people don't want to go to it. Because if there's a delay within the rhythm shooting, you're always going to revert to wanting to use square because you want to get your shot up immediately. But again, if you're a rhythm shooter, you don't have any ball handle on your bills. That means you're a power forward, you're a center. Um, you're a small forward that doesn't have any ball handling. You're, uh, it's not too many shooting guards out there without ball handling, but for those that do not have ball handling at the shooting guard position that are hash sitters, I would recommend that you change your right stick to shooting only. It will take away that delay in starting your rhythm shot because the, the problem with rhythm shooting is that it's mapped on the same stick that you do dribble moves with. So the reason that that delay is there is because 2K is trying to figure out, are you in a shot or are you still dribbling? Now, if you turn that off and you negate that, it's like cutting off a piece of your brainstem. Like, oh my God, uh, it's only computing the one thing. <laughs> like that's that's literally what it is. It's, it's mapping your right stick only to one action and that's shooting. And the best thing about this is, if you are a person that does do that, and let's say, for instance, you like to shoot middies as well, you don't need the right stick to receive a pass out the corner and run to the middle of the free throw line to take a moving shot or be at the hash and drive and dunk or lay up. Because guess what? All of your shooting, which is layups, dunks, step back shots, um, spinning shots, all of that fades. All of that is still mapped to the right stick. So. If you are someone who doesn't have ball handle, it won't hinder your finishing. It won't hinder your mid-range game. It will only take away right stick dribbles like hezzies and stuff like that. It's going to take that away. But everything else is still going to be there. Okay, so this next clip that we're going to watch is a clip from Agent Double Zero talking about the stick shooting in NBA 2K17. I'm not sure if you were around, around that time, but uh, Agent used to be one of the best shooters in the game you know, within the community that a lot of people grew to love. Um, and he talked about stick shooting and what it meant for the game, why it felt so natural, why the boost of the green window felt so good. So let's go ahead and watch it. Main menu. Yo, hold on, let me tell y'all niggas a quick story, bro. Back in the day, NBA 2K17 dropped young agent sharpshooter, right? At the time, one of the best sharpshooters in the game. Facts, if he was there, you know. All right, bro, I discovered how OP it was to shoot with your right stick. And bro, I was terrorizing Pro-Am teams. Dead ass, bro. And there was a couple iconic games that I had some pretty high scoring games back before niggas was doing that. Back before niggas was getting 100 point games. And I was going ballistics all using the right stick. Bro, I dropped some videos telling everybody. The videos did really well, they got a lot of views. Patched. There was a shot stick era in 2K17, but then everybody went back to the square button because the shit got patched. All right, so uh, you heard it here first. Um, the right stick has been something that a lot of, you know, standstill, you know, Claymore, whether, you know, whatever. Um, that was a big thing for a lot of people. There were even people inside the comment section of my recent tweets about certain jump shooting things where they say that they've been right stick shooters for a while now and that they actually like it. They prefer it over square. Now, again, I come from a different, you know, time in 2K. I like square shooting. I love it. I am. I feel like I need it at any given moment because there's other things that I'm doing with my my, my fingers, and it's not like I guess it's not natural to me to shoot with the rhythm stick, right? Whether it be without rhythm shooting, which you can do if you want to learn how to just right stick shoot, you can learn how to right stick shoot as well. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is push the stick up and let it go at the release of your cue, 
or hold it down and let that go at the release of your cue as well. Rhythm shooting is only going down and then forming that upward motion when you get to your cue and you want to follow it. But again, rhythm shooting is the biggest green window. So if you want to learn how to shoot with the right stick, that's completely different. That will not give you the boost that rhythm shooting gives you. Okay. I just want to make that clear. All right. <laughs> So if you made it to this part in the video, we're almost to the end of this video. I just wanted to put up a couple shots before I show you all of the settings that I have equipped for me, my first build in NBA 2K. Mind you, I haven't made a new build yet. I won't be making a new build until season two. So the build that I do have does not have cat breakers and it has an 83.3. Um, I probably will have cat breakers before season two comes, but I'm just taking my time with 2K. You know I'm saying I'm not trying to, you know, drain myself out or, or, or cr start crashing out over 2K. But the jump shot that I do have, um, if you guys notice the way that my player has been moving since I started talking, this is Joel Embiid's uh, stance, which I'll show you in a moment. But when it comes to shooting, right, if I shoot with square, like it's slightly late, right? For whatever reason, it's slightly late. Now I can shoot a bunch of these and be on the same time and all the time. And for whatever reason, it will always give me a, a slightly late or something like, all right, very late is crazy. Um, It'll always give me like a, a slightly late or a slightly early within like my first six, seven shots. And that's because the data that we've seen, especially from the 2K lab, is that your first four shots, if you can get within a certain window, you will grant all of those. But your fifth and sixth shots, for whatever reason, they're so far off. And you have to like figure out, okay, I keep looking at my cue. The jump shot animation is going to change. What's happening? But when it comes to rhythm shooting, it's a little bit different, right? So when I rhythm shoot, I look at my cue every time. And that's a slightly fast now that's a that's an excellent but if you notice you see how i'm on the edge of the the window and you can kind of like figure out where you are as you keep rhythm shooting right so let me let me go ahead and back up let me let me let me shoot from the hash because i feel like the hash is like one of the hardest places to figure it out because your cue is always changing right now these are deep shots especially for somebody with an 83 um three right so let's see let me back up I want to I want to shoot as far as I possibly can um, slightly late and that was the push. All right. Excellent on the edge. Excellent on the edge. Now, what I've been hearing is that a lot of the rhythm shooting is kind of like the same. The window is kind of like the same on everything, no matter how far away you actually are with the rhythm shot. Now, let's see. That should be green right there. I mean, I'm just trying, I'm just trying my best to show you guys that even with the low three point rating, rhythm shooting is like cracked. It's like super cracked. Um, there are people out there that have been using like cat breakers and stuff like that. And they've been going crazy with cat breakers and that didn't even register as a rhythm shot right there. Let's see. Oh, it's slightly fast. Okay. So I'm moving too fast with it. All right. Let me back up. There we go. Let me see. Let me get further away. Now, of course, with anything with shooting, you kind of got to be locked in. And I know that as a streamer, like sometimes I'm talking and sometimes I'm not locked in. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I be shooting, bro, I be silent as hell. <laughs> like I be super silent when it when it's time for me to like take a shot online. I be super, super silent. Uh, let's see. How far can we push this? All right. That's slightly fast. That should be green. Yep. All right, let's see. That should be green. Yep. All right. That should be green. No, slightly late push. That should be slightly late. Yeah, it's slightly fast. Okay. All right. That should be green. See, like I, I'm knowing like what what's supposed to happen when I'm shooting these. Now I've been I've been taking like some further shots online, but I will let y'all guys know like. I don't have bomber on this build as far as like my takeover go. So me shooting this far with the rhythm shot is kind of insane. Okay, so there has been something that's been going around the community where if you shoot with the actual rhythm shooting, but you actually put the right stick into a half circle after pulling it down, you can still pull off excellent releases. So you don't actually have the time to down and up thing. Now, it's gonna be hard to test that simply because my controller is like in the air. 
So I'm I'm gonna try it, but let's see. All right, very early, very fast. All right, excellent. What is that? Very fast. It's hard to do this. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, excellent, slightly fast. Oh my God, this hurts. This hurts a lot. Okay, excellent. All right, I think I'm getting it. I think I'm getting it from this position that I'm in. <laughs> is this hurts so bad, chat? Okay, so generally this is what you wanna do, right? You wanna pull the stick down, and then when you see your cue, you wanna pull it into that half circle, if y'all notice, right? You wanna pull it into that half circle every single time. And I don't know why it works like that, but it's kind of crazy that it works like that. Like, I don't know, bro. It's not me, this, this is the game, but this is why rhythm shooting is so cracked right now. Like, me shooting like that is insane. Like, just imagine me playing 2K like this, bro. Like, literally, I'll play like this every day and I'll be able to hit greens. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Being able to play like that, bro, online is, is, is just insane. But let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you guys my uh, my actual moves and stuff. Okay, so if you wanna have the same type of success that I've been having with rhythm shooting, you wanna go on high risk reward. Um, for all my people out there, please go real player percentage if you don't wanna miss a bunch of layups, please. Um, just go into my career and spam layups all the time and your your real player percentage will, will rise. Um, shot time and visual cue for me is always push. Uh, pro stick function, huge, huge thing. Turn it on shots only. If you're not a dribbler, turn it on shots only. It will help the delay from when the shot starts where the meter actually goes. It will stop that delay, okay? Please remember, pro stick function, big thing. Turn it on shots only. Um, as far as the build, the build is still the same. 83 three-point shot. I have an 87 mid range just to get the bases and stuff at that 87 overall uh, thing. As far as my badges go, the only badge that I have is set shot specialist on goal that I put the max plus one on. For my tier two badge, there's no shooting badge that can help me there. But what I recommend, all your shooting badges should be silver or better if you want to go like cracked, cracked. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you my my tier one badges real quick. I have limitless range on bronze and y'all saw that I could still hit um, long range shots, even with it only been on bronze without any extra added ability. Now, remember, as my I'm going to show y'all because I know it's, it's going to make a lot more sense. The takeover uh, ability that I have is um, 3 and D, right? And marksman. So if I have uh, my takeover ability and marksman on, I get up to a 93 point shot. A 93 at level five. That means I could darn near hit from anywhere. I could darn near hit from anywhere. So I've tr I've tried Marksman and I've shot from the rec logo. Like that's how cracked this three and D takeover and um, ability is. Like it's it's cracked, right? Now, as far as my boost, I always do keep a jump shot boost on. Um, for whatever reason, I haven't tested it without jump shot boost. I will in the future, and mainly because with rhythm shooting, I think I'll be able to save me and you can save yourself some money as well as far as VC go by not having to buy jump shot boost. I think that that's a real thing. Um, as far as the animations go, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know my motion style is Alex Caruso. I don't use any other motion style anymore, okay? Um, as far as my triple threat style, I use Joel and Bead. I don't use any other triple threat style anymore, okay? Now, as far as jump shots go, like I said, I've been labbing a bunch of different jump shots lately, and I don't know why I named this this. I thought that I had an 89 overall um, jump shot that I was looking at on a, on a website, and I was like, you know what? I don't have that. I can't get KD. But I could get Oscar, which means I could get Kobe Bryant's uppers and Oscar's uppers. For the life of me, I'm not going to watch your name. I, I, I'm, I'm really not. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say this is the base that I'm using. And this is the blend speed, the visual cue, and the, uh, you know, the blending and all of that. The reason that I'm using this jump shot now is because this timing stability is through the freaking roof 
okay is through the freaking roof the thing about time and stability is right there are a lot of great jump shots out there um even even jump shots like um let's see uh what was i using i was using i was using colder man's jump shot if we look at colder man's jump shot that time and stability is at a d plus that is at a d plus this is a really 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 good jump shot but the time stability is a D plus, which means it's going to be harder for me to find that green window whenever 2K decides that this mother sucker wants to change. So the reason why I'm down here with this one is because now I have a B plus time stability. And also defensive immunity, release speed, release height is all good on this jump shot. So that means that this jump shot is not only good with rhythm shooting, but it's good with just square shooting, which I've shown you in the my court as well, that I can hit those as well, all right? Now, for all of my people who have been rhythm shooting since the game came out, if there's anything that I'm missing that I missed, please let us know in the comment section about rhythm shooting. For everybody that's still on the fence about it, try it out in my career. Don't go online trying to, you know, freak it and all of that. Try it in my career, get that timing down first, and then go into the online setting and try it out. For all of my people that still love Square but are willing to, you know what I'm saying, are willing to try it, only do it if you miss a bunch of different shots after knowing for God darn for sure that you should be graining these wide open shots and 2K isn't giving you that love because they want to keep you either at 50% or under it, okay? Um, this is your boy IKC signing out. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit, you know, share with a friend, stuff like that. But again, I was wrong about NBA 2K25. Um, whatever Mike and them did, whatever the team did for rhythm shooting and giving it this insane cracked boost, um, it's it's getting a lot of people onto wanting to use it because they are tired of being 50% or less from three. That's why it's a, a, a usable feature because a lot of people are pissed off that they're missing their shots. And if you don't want to miss your shots and you want to make more shots, I guess you got to become a rhythm shooter, right? Yeah. But uh, let me know in the comment section if you like rhythm shooting, if you if you can't stand it, if you don't understand why Mike and them did it. Um, let me know where you stand, all right? Um, but I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Appa. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. 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 Kong.